up, furry friends? Shane is here today, again, I mean, because it's my channel, and I know I've got some uh, Model Train fans who follow me, and you know, uh, you've seen some of my videos that, you know, I like trains, I, li I like trains, so I checked out a new, a new store to me and uh, Jonas, and I actually got some stuff from it. It's a... Uh, pretty much on the New Hampshire Massachusetts line, it's in Massachusetts. Uh, I can't remember the name of the store now because I'm drawing a blank, but I wanted to show you kind of what I picked up in store and uh, why I picked up these items at the store. Uh, the first being, I picked up a book on DCC and wiring and how to make it work. The, uh, the problem is right now, a lot of my trains are just DC. So I am trying to work to convert them to DCC. So at the new house, I have a gonna have a layout and uh, has some kind of cool information in it, uh, whatnot. So I got that, and I decided to start a layout at the new house once we get the keys and uh, we all ourselves stuff in and you know have fun. So I got that. The next thing I got is I. So there's a story behind all this. Uh, the next two items and uh, when Jonas and I went uh, on our trip to MFF we wanted to get the, uh, the train kind of I guess that uh, we kind of went on and whatnot and uh, build like the train for the uh, Lakeshore Limited so I ended up getting the engine today yesterday so I got the nice uh, the nice engine uh, which is the P42 for you for you nerds um, and the guy had two different engines there uh, same one same of this but just different numbering and I guess I was dumb and I got the I forgot to check the number because uh, I have footage of the train that took us there uh, I forgot to check the number and I think the other number he had turned out to be the one that you know was actually the number that was on our locomotive but uh regardless I still like it, and I need to find a uh, a dummy for these. So if you know anybody who makes, you know, the P42 uh, locomotives uh, for dummy form, because I need one to stick in the back, uh, please let me know. So there's that one. Again, I'll show this, and they, they gave you a nice kind of like it came in a package like this, but it helps it, you know, not break and destroy when you're moving. And I figure I'll keep it how this is because I don't want to break while moving. Um, and it's not, I think there's sound, but it's DC. Uh, so while we were there, I have, I talked to the guy and there's apparently, I, I didn't know this, but there's apparently a lot of different, you know, encoders that you have to pick from depending on what engine it is and I was what brand. I, 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 again, this is why I have this book because I don't know much about DCC. Uh, so we looked it up and I think we think this is the right one for the uh, the, the train that I just bought and we're gonna that's gonna be my first project to convert that to DCC and then once that's done I will have to I guess bring my trains to the various stores and or write down the engine models or something and then get more pieces these aren't too bad they're like 20 to 30 bucks um, and you know that's that's a good thing because then you can uh, take your older trains that you know have just DC and make them into a big layout and have multiple trains running at the same time because multiple trains running at the same time is cool. So uh, this actually wasn't part of this whole th story, but um, I wanted to get this one anyways because it was cool. But um, I got the there's a new uh, the Amtrak Superliner. Uh, Two, and this is the trans ah, sorry, transition sleeper uh, car. So I got one of the Superliner transition sleep cars. Uh, what the what they do is they tend to put you know uh, some of the baggage on the first level, and then the top is all sleeper cars. Um, and I mean I think there's there's some seats in the bottom too, so like a little lounge. Um, but then like this side is baggage. So. Um, I don't have any Superliners, this is the first Superliner car I have. Uh, I have a bunch of other ones and I mean I can make a, a whole, you know, Amtrak 
training video of what I have or you know just an overall what do I have for engines and cars and uh, rolling stock and all that fun stuff. So this one is pretty new um, which is why I got it and I like the idea it has like the lower door here and then the do door above is higher and this is how like the Superliner cars work. Um, this was not on my train. Um, for those who, who, for those of you who are not um, train knowledgeable or stuff like that, the uh, Superliner, which is, you know, this car, was is too tall to get through some of the tunnels in the Northeast. Um, so you do not have any of these uh, in the New England side of the tracks. Uh, once you get to Chicago, uh, then you can actually start using these, uh, and that's. They start using those over there, and that's why we have, you know, our single floor cars and, you know, stuff like that. So, that was kind of what I picked up yesterday. Um, oh, I forgot to show this. Um, so, I guess see this lights up, or you can make this light up. I, I, this is all new to me, guys. So, I mean, there's like this little thing you can put something there, and then it lets it, you know, light up inside. So, I gotta figure out how to use that, but the moment I need to make sure that I'm, you know, keep these safe until after I move and then, you know, to start playing with my toys again because I like playing with trains. So that's the video for this today. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what trains you have. Um, I'm also looking for the HO scale Amtrak Viewliner car. I need it because I need it for the, the train I'm making. I'm oh, sorry, I have an itch on my eye. I need itchy today. I'm just itchy dog. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm looking for a Viewliner car. If you happen to see any on eBay, know anybody who has one who's looking to sell, uh, please let me know because I'm having a hard time finding them. I might just send, you know, Jonas to look for me because he's pretty good at finding things when I can't find things. And I'm actually pretty good at finding things myself. But uh, yeah, uh, so look out for that, you know, if you find one, let me know. Other than that, have a good day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, this is I Love Lucky Wolf, and I would like to thank you for watching Shane Deepwood on his awesome channel. Bye.